This is my 13 inch by 40 inch uh, lathe <clears throat> on which I installed a uh, 5 horsepower 3 phase motor. The original motor was single phase. That's all I have available to me. And uh, I installed a 5 horsepower delta variable uh, frequency drive. And it works very well. It went pretty good. A lot of uh, uh, different things that you have to learn in order to get it working. But uh, all in all, it's pretty slick. Um, I was able to uh, incorporate the original on and off switch, which starts it forward. And uh, the reverse works along with instant reverse, which is pretty nice. In addition, I put a uh, remote uh, uh, speed control over here, which makes it easy to uh, change the speeds if you're facing and you want to stay out of the or turning, you want to stay out of the way of the uh, chips flying off. Also, I programmed the uh, parameters to read the actual RPM of the spindle when I am in the uh, 755 gear range, which I intend to keep it uh, for most uh, uh, uses. It has pretty good torque, even at low RPMs. Here I'm down to about 100, and it's pretty hard to stop. I guess you could. If that would be the case, then you just shift it into a lower range. I would never go higher than the 755 speed range. I'll probably put a safety on there to keep that from happening. Uh, also, it's got instant reverse. Very, very nice for tapping or whatever you might want to do. And it puts no strain on the uh, motor or anything. You can program how long it takes to accelerate and deaccelerate. Also, you have a uh, jog here. Which is nice, and I was able to retain the original jog button on the uh, lathe. In addition, I was able to retain the uh, uh, original neon power on light and the emergency stop and the turn on button right here. You normally would never use the emergency stop on a variable frequency drive while the spindle is turning. Um, they all recommend against this, uh, but it's there in case you would need it for something. So that's pretty much um, how this works. I'm very happy with the installation. The drive cost about $300 delivered and the motor cost me uh, $50. In another video I will go into uh, how I actually went about installing everything and uh, how I fit it in. Once again, here is the lathe uh, finished and bolted to the wall, and uh, I'll go over this real quick again to show all the operations in case I had my camera miscued, which uh, I sometimes have a tendency to do. Here you turn the lathe on, power on, takes a second for it to come on, there's that. Here's the factory jog button. And the lathe is jogging. And here's the, uh, the lathe jog button, which also works. And here's the neon power light. And this would be the emergency stop and restart switch. Now here is the original lathe stop and start and reverse switch. There's Forward, stop, reverse, stop, forward, instant reverse, stop, forward, off, here's on, now here is my lamp, and my speed control. And once again, this is the uh, spindle stop.
to about uh, 70 RPM in the 755 gear range which I normally keep it at and once again here's a view of the speed uh, dial here it works real well I have it so it clicks and you can feel what speed you're going into.